This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete Haynes online manual at haynes.com. Apply the handbrake. Remove the wheel trim and partially unscrew by a maximum of 90 degrees the relevant hub bolt with the vehicle resting on its wheels. Note that the bolt is very tight and a suitable extension bar will probably be required to aid unscrewing. Caution. Do not loosen the bolt more than 90 degrees with the vehicle standing on the ground as the wheel bearings may be damaged. Also unscrew the road wheel securing bolts. Then jack up the front of the car and support it on axle stands. Remove the appropriate road wheel. Remove the retaining screws and or clips and remove the undershields from beneath the engine or transmission unit to gain access to the drive shafts. Where necessary, also unbolt the heat shield from the transmission housing to improve access to the drive shaft in a joint. Unscrew and remove the hub bolt the rest of the way using a suitable object such as a punch placed in a brake disc cooling vein to prevent the disc from rotating when loosening the hub bolt. Discard the bolt and obtain a new one for refitting. Unscrew the three nuts securing the front suspension lower arm ball joint to the lower arm. Discard the nuts as new ones must be used on refitting. Lever the lower arm downwards to release it from the ball joint studs. Then pull the hub carrier outwards and at the same time withdraw the drive shaft outer constant velocity joint from the hub. If the joint splines are a tight fit in the hub, tap the joint out of the hub using a soft faced mallet and drift. If this fails to free the drive shaft from the hub, the joint will have to be pressed out using a suitable tool bolted to the hub. Caution. Support the drive shaft outer joint while it is free from the hub. Do not allow it to hang under its own weight or the joint may be damaged. Position a container beneath the transmission to catch spilt oil. Then pull out the drive shaft. The internal drive shaft circlip may be tight in the transmission side gear, in which case careful use of a lever against the transmission casing will be required. Lever out the drive shaft while preventing damage to the transmission casing. Pull only on the inner joint housing, not the drive shaft itself, otherwise the gator may be damaged. Take care not to damage the oil seal as the drive shaft is being removed. Maneuver the drive shaft out from underneath the vehicle. Check the condition of the circlip on the inner end of the drive shaft and if necessary, renew it. As applicable, Clean the splines on each end of the drive shaft and in the hub. Then apply a little oil to the splines. Wipe clean the oil seal in the transmission casing. Then check the condition of the oil seal and renew it if necessary. Smear a little oil on the lips of the oil seal before fitting the drive shaft. Locate the inner end of the drive shaft into the transmission. Turn the drive shaft as necessary to engage the splines. Press in the drive shaft until the internal circlip engages the groove. Check that the circlip is engaged by attempting to pull out the drive shaft in a joint with only moderate force. Engage the outer joint with the hub. Fit the new hub bolt and use it to draw the joint fully into position. Align the ball joint studs with the holes in the lower arm, then release the arm and fit the three new nuts.
tighten the nuts to the specified torque. Prevent the brake disc from rotating, then tighten the drive shaft bolt to the stage 1 torque setting. The bolt must be tightened with the wheel clear of the ground. Refit the necessary undershields and fasteners to the engine or transmission. Refit the road wheel. And lower the vehicle to the ground. Then angle tighten the drive shaft bolt through the stage 2 angle. Refit the wheel trim or hubcap. Once the drive shaft bolt is correctly tightened, tighten the wheel bolts to the specified torque. 